everybody and welcome back it's been a while uh, it's today's Tuesday the 28th of March 23 I've just left uh, Tenerife Gran Canaria on my starboard and the course I'm taking because of the wind the wind is northeast so I'm tacking and uh, slowly about four knots and my course at the moment will take me just north of uh, Lanzarote if I was to stay on the course, but I'll probably tack again in the morning. Uh, my, my aim is, is to head towards Madeira. I had a lovely time there last year and I met lovely people there. And I have two lovely friends there, Jendi and Jorman from Venezuela. I'd like to see them. And I visited two schools and talk, spoke with the schools about uh, they're building boats. Anyway, I'd like to see Madeira. Uh, so the northeast wind isn't ideal, uh, but uh, it's lovely to be back out. I haven't been sailing in a while. I had to go home, uh, I got sick, and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great, uh, strong and healthy. Uh, Waxwing is absolutely delighted to be uh, dancing through the waves, and it's a beautiful day. Uh, so I thank everyone for all the lovely messages while I was silent, and uh, I just had a lot going on, and I had a lot. Uh, sorry, I'm laughing a little bit. Uh, I had a lot to uh, to sort out and deal with. So anyway, all good, all good. But thanks everyone for the messages. So I should get some lovely footage in this trip. It's going to be um, headwinds the whole way. Uh, that's kind of normal for this area. I mean, uh, northeast is it? and then a prevailing wind. So anyway, lovely to be back. Good morning, uh, second day at sea, Wednesday the 29th of March, and boy what a rough night that was. <laughs> the wind is eased down to about 18 knots, and we're close hauled. I'll show you outside now in a minute, but uh, got hit by a squall about 4 o'clock in the morning, and took a big wave over the deck, and it, it took uh, one of my empty diesel drums, and was dragging the other one behind it to go up and get it. Then uh, the head door slammed, and here's a valuable uh, lesson. I have a running bolt at the end of the door so I can lock it uh, open, really, but that, <laughs> you won't believe this, that pin dropped down with the door closed. So I had to, oh, the, only, the only way to get in and open that is go up and they can go down through the hatch, and that wasn't gonna happen in, in uh, force five or six. So I had to break it. Um, a carpenter, I'll, I'll fix it. But it was a shame to break it. I'll show it to you in a while. I, I only just had to force it and pop the, the running boat. So it was a hectic night. I didn't get much sleep. Uh, the boat's a mess. But uh, it's still good to be back out at sea. <laughs> so I'll show you my course and what so I'm I doing. I left the Canaries yesterday. I did actually 100 nautical miles, 106 miles. Uh, this is our position. Then I went to boat. But it was bloody rough there last night. 
and now we have a core set, uh, which is pretty good. We're doing five, six knots, and it's like between 16, 17, 18 knots, which is a lot better. But uh, I'm still slightly over canvassed. Uh, I'll probably take a reef from the main now after my coffee. Uh, so the gold striker bomb went off. I tried sleeping there, I tried sleeping there. It was impossible. But I'll do a big tidy up now. <clears throat> Stuff everywhere. You can see, you can see the water outside. Good speed though. So I'm having a orange juice in the cockpit. I'm going to wake up. And uh, it's way better today. Still fresh. 18, 19 knots. And we're beating into it. Sales are setting well. I give you a look at the, the weather. I give you a look at the um, the conditions. Always looks better when it's sunny. <laughs> that locked on me last night. You can tell the angle of the boat actually by the the, uh, the curtain hanging up. But uh, it's hard to see. See what I had to do. Had to force it there. Because there's a running bolt on the bottom and that locked itself. So I had to force it open. Which was a shame, but uh, anyways, I said I'm a carpenter, I'll uh, fix it. But my worry was, let me come up in there, it's hard to stand. My worry was that if anything went wrong in there, if uh, like the toilet started overflowing or leaking, or, uh, Jesus, hold on. Uh, or something went wrong and I couldn't get in, it wouldn't have been good, so I had to get in, so I, I had to break it in, unfortunately. Well, I just forced it, I just popped it. So we're still bombing along.
nothing in sight but sea. <laughs> sea and clouds. So, um, yeah, it's good to be back. Good to feel healthy. And this is a good test because it's uh, an uphill trek, if you know what I mean, against the wind the whole way. So I'm close hauled. So that's kind of a rough route I put in. Uh, might get to stick to it. And that's the shipping within uh, 15, 60 miles of me, which is, you know, it's just, it's busy enough, but it should get quieter as, as I go northwest. Uh, I didn't turn on my Iridium Go this time. I didn't turn on my Iridium Go this time because uh, so that's why if anyone's looking for my life tracker, it's probably not working. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's not working, but uh, it's 170 a month. But I, it means now I don't have forecast at sea or connectivity, which is uh, lovely. <laughs> so I grew up without sailing, without iridium and without uh, anything much bar VHF, I suppose, actually. But uh, uh, so it's nice. Uh, I can't email or text or uh, download or any do anything. So it's, it's nice. And it's only going to be a week or 10 days. So... Uh, um, It'd be lovely now if I got out towards the Azor, uh, out towards Madeira and the weather improved and the wind angle improved, but I seem to be making course for Madeira, but uh, let's see what happens. Um, see what the weather's like. I'm doing eight knots now, so I'm 17, 18 knots of wind most of the day, which is a big improvement from last night. Uh, we still have to put a bit of a heel on, but once the tow rails aren't going under the water, I don't mind. And they're not. And modern technology is so good. Uh, the wind is down today, which is nice. We're still pointing high. I have a ship here, uh, the Osar, with a very small CPA. You can see it here. It's like uh, half half a nautical mile. Uh, so I'm going to go out now and keep an eye on them, and I'll probably change course and run behind them, obviously. Uh, I'll probably call them first. So that's what would wake me um, if I was asleep um, and the ship came up that I hadn't seen, but it wouldn't happen. I'd be always watching for them, but that's what would uh, wake me. So I have a visual on it. Uh, you don't mess with him, he's too big. <laughs> so I go behind him. So all's well that ends well. Nice to get outside as well. <laughs> it's been rough the last few days. So that's good. Uh, he actually altered course for me, which was really nice. So I didn't have to drop behind him. Uh, they're so courteous and so nice. I'll show you. So nice, one nautical mile. 
Good. Coffee time. So I cooked uh, spaghetti bolognese yesterday and I cooked plenty of it so I have uh, enough for today's dinner as well and tomorrow's. <laughs> Handy. The motion of the bowl is so much easier today. We're down to uh, 14 knots of wind, which is good. And it's nice to eat nice food as well. I bought mince and onions and uh, garlic. Great to be back. Not a good trick is eat out of the pot. <laughs> no watching up. Mmm. <laughs> and an orange for dessert. I have three left. Mmm. That's good. That's so much more relaxed on the boat today. Big difference between 14 knots of wind and 22 and 23. 25. Nice. Side of land that's uh, Ila Chow uh, Desert Grande, it's one of the um, islands of Medina. About six hours ahead is uh, Porto Santo, and the sun's just coming up over Africa. Beautiful morning at sea. I kept full sail up during the night. The wind has eased off to about 17 degrees, 17 knots, still sleeping. So looking forward to uh, the beautiful island of Porto Santo. Oh, we have bird life. Nice way to wake up. So, Porto Santo in the distance, and uh, looks like a fishing point.
amazing what you'd find and see floating in the ocean, pallets, logs, everything. Uh, I got my Portuguese flag up the right one this time. <laughs> Apologies to my Portuguese friends, last time I was here I had the Spanish flag up. So, uh, lovely trip, I'm looking forward to getting in and anchoring and uh, get some nice food. And I have two friends there, Christine and Peter, they just texted me, they saw me coming on AIS. I'm going to meet them. I met them in Valley Grand Way last year, so that's good. And hopefully there's room inside, and I'll anchor inside the, the harbour wall. If not, I'll anchor outside off the beach. So I've just anchored inside the harbour of uh, Porto Santo. So nice to be anchored. Uh, I go to customs now shortly after I eat and uh, give them all my paperwork and stuff. Um, so I hope you enjoyed watching and thanks for uh, sticking by while I wasn't there. As I said, I had a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I got sick and anyway, I'm back on track, which is great. It's fantastic. I had a great sail here and uh, lovely to feel. Oh, I missed the water, I really had missed it. And it's beautiful here, it's really, really beautiful. So I'll get the dinghy in now and go in, uh, put on some clean clothes. I, I can even get a shower in there, which is great. Go to the supermarket. So uh, wishing everyone a great weekend, stay safe. And uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, it all helps. And uh, see you next week.